today we're here for a um, Palo Verde nuclear uh, virtual field trip. It was a collaboration with American Nuclear Society and Discovery Education. Uh, they made the video and then my uh, three students here at Tartis Elementary School were lucky enough to participate in this project. I thought this was, was an exciting opportunity. Um, our students live so close to the power plant, they can see it on their way in. Um, they have parents or, or relatives who work there, but never get a chance to really see what goes on there and, and might not really understand what goes on there. Today we showed the virtual field trip navigating nuclear. Um, I got an opportunity to work with Discovery Education and American Nuclear Society and film that. I explained how a nuclear power plant works and then I worked with some of the chief science officers from Tartessel Elementary in the video. And then we came out to the school and we showed it to the kids. My name is Aubrey. My name is Lincoln. And I'm Ben. When we filmed it, I was like, okay, this is okay. And then when I heard that we're going to do it in front of our entire school, then I was like, scary, except I also did really have a lot of fun. I thought it was really cool. It's a great experience for us to see kids just like us and for them to just be able to go out and do that. Some of the cool things that I saw, uh, the virtual reality in use, um, getting to see drones uh, being used for, for safety at the plant. Um, as a technology integration specialist, I get to uh, teach my kids a lot of things with, uh, with robotics and uh, app development, and it's just really cool to, to get to see how some of those uh, applications are applied uh, in, in real life. Well, I think the virtual field trips are really unique experience. Um, you know, not every state or city has a nuclear power plant or anything like that, and so to get this into all these classrooms and show kids about nuclear is something I'm very passionate about and I think it's a really great way to educate students about STEM in general and how we can have a sustainable future. I think that it really just gets people's attention because it's not just you're not just sitting down in the classroom listening to your teacher talk or doing a worksheet or something you really get to be involved and learn in a different way. This is amazing, you gotta watch this, and it's not just because I'm in it, because it teaches you a lot of information, it's really cool and really fun.